Hey YouTube, Silver Seeker One here, back again with another update video on my recent uh, pickups. What I'm about to show you, um, it's a few um, different uh, pickups from different uh, places, or I should say, coin shops and um, online stores. So we'll get right to it. We'll start with, uh, I believe this is a JM Bullion. Uh, I picked up five of the uh, Maple Rivers Proof uh, Grizzly Privy. So I picked up five. I am doing um, the next, uh, I believe it's a six coin series. I'm going to be doing five sets. So that's, uh, got that out the way. Five uh, coins for um, those five sets. I also picked up five um, Kookaburras with the Monkey Privy from Atmix. So that is uh, five more. Let's put them, there you go, right. Okay, and now we're going to go into uh, LCS pickups. Um, we'll start with uh, Bitboard Editions. And uh, for my local coin shop, and looks like, okay, so it looks like it's going to be um, four of these. So I have, um, we'll start with this first one. If you'll zoom in, there we go, 1887, 8 reales. Um, this one um, was clean, besides that little ding um, up top, looks good, beautiful, got an, an 1886, there we go, 1886, 8 realis. Got an 1883, I believe. Yes. 1883. Um, 8 Rallis. This one's a little uh, worn out, but uh, great condition. And last but not least, uh, this is one of my favorite pickups. Um, 1888 with uh, chop marks as you guys can see there's a couple of stars up top a few here um, you can't really see because of that well there you go uh, chop marks on the cap and I believe a couple of more back here up top on his um, on the wing and then one down below here very nice this one has a really nice uh, tone to it all around the rim kind of like a greenish color very nice. Uh, I've, been, I've been picking up quite a few eight rallies. Last month, I believe I picked up a couple. So um, this month, you know, I got four more eight rallies to add to the stack, the collection. Uh, another LCS pickup. I picked up um, three 72% um, 1968 Olympics. So I finally got um, uh, one variety. Obviously, that's uh, I believe it's the most common one with a straight tongue. And uh, three Olympic rings levels. As you guys can see, they're all the top three are aligned. Uh, the variety two, sorry, variety two, it's also um, with the straight uh, tongue on the snake. But the ring in the middle, it's uh, lower. So it's a lower ring. So I don't know if you guys can kind of tell the difference. The three rings on the left are straight. And then if you guys notice on the right coin, the middle ring it's kind of pushed down so so that's variety one two and three it's the rarest one um, this is the same coin um, the three ring it's uh, one is a uh, low ring middle but the tongue on the snake it's uh, curved so, um, if you guys can let me see show you guys the other one so you guys can kind of get an idea I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but if you guys can see the tongue on the left, it's curved. And then the one on the right, it's straight. Okay. So happy to get that done. So there's variety one, two, and three. Uh, another uh, LCS pickups were these. Uh, my first, I believe is my first. Yeah, 1978, 50 franc, 90% silver. Beautiful French coin. And I'm gonna go right through these are quick. Um, 1916 50 cent um, Canadian half, 
429,000 minted. 50% uh, silver, 1933 half crown from uh, Great Britain. Got another uh, half crown from 1935. Uh, 1867, two francs from Belgium, 0.835 silver. Uh, 1931, one florin, 50% um, silver. 1933, uh, six pence. This one's in really great condition, also from Great Britain. 50% silver. Oops. Uh, 1906 E uh, in German half mark. 90% silver. This one's also in um, really good condition. This is my second one, I believe. And um, 1921 six pence from also Great Britain. 50% silver. Um, I also picked up um, another partial roll of uh, walkers. These are all early uh, years. I cherry picked them. So uh, let's see. I got um, some um, 36, a couple of 36s, 35, 27, 37, 36, 40, 35, another 35, 28. 39 and looks like that one's uh, 23 so so I just got uh, some of the earlier years obviously in um, better condition not slicked down so then the numbers uh, the years are visible um, and um, uh, let's see more pickups from that same coin shop uh, two more totem poles I'm working on a roll another um, Canadian silver dollar to uh, Canadian 80% halves Two more Canadian um, silver dimes, another Canadian quarter. This one's a really nice coin. This one's from 1954. Uh, un Bolivar. And here it says uh, Libertador. Let's read it. Let me read it for you guys real quick here. So this is uh, Un Bolivar, República de Venezuela. So Venezuelan silver. Um, five grams of silver, 0.835. So, I mean, you guys can't really tell, but I don't know if he has the... On your side will be how it would look, but this one is just really beautiful condition and looks like AU, maybe BU. And there's like nowhere on, on this coin, just a little dirty, a few scratches here and there, but you can tell off the higher parts of the coin aren't really that worn out. Beautiful coin. And um, what are these? Uh, one shillings, 1943 and 1929. Um, last but not least, I stopped at another coin shop um, last, I think it was on uh, Thursday or Friday, actually. Um, this is the first time I went to, the, I've, been, I've gone to this coin. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll put their information here. Uh, Wilshire Coin Exchange. Um, they have uh, their locations in Santa Monica, so if anybody's out on this side, you know, going headed to the beach, um, stop by, call them. I know they're open every other, every there you go, every first and third Saturday of each month. So if you're out here, don't just show up. I would suggest to call and see if they're open. Um, great service, I believe, in my opinion, some great prices. Uh, beautiful gold coins. They had, you know, a lot of. Uh, um, options to choose from so from them I picked up this um, 2000 um, Canadian maple I believe this is a, a 2000 uh, year um, privy I'll do some research on that one um, but I picked up four 1947 Guactemocs 90% uh, silver 30 granos lay 5 pesos I picked up four 1947 so this is the better year of, uh, they were minted for two years, 1947 and 48. So 1947 is the one with the lowest mintage. So I picked up, uh, like I mentioned, uh, four of them. So there's another, the third one, and last but not least, the fourth one. <clears throat> I picked up three, una onza or libertats. 
1985, 1985, and I believe this is 1982, yeah, 1982, and two 1985s, really nice coins. And I also picked up um, this uh, Casa de Moneda de Mexico, una onza, 1979, and then this uh, Hidalgo, uh, cinco pesos, 1951. Yes, 1951, 72% silver. Um, so I paid uh, for these, I believe it was $2.50 over spot per ounce. So on these four, I know I had a YouTuber uh, mention if I can you know, say some of the prices. Um, so I, I only have one receipt with me here, so I'm gonna kind of give you some price on those. On these, I paid on uh, these, where are they at? These onzas, I paid uh, $18.35. Uh, so I got three um, for these 90%. Um, this is uh, 3.47, so almost three and a half ounces of silver. I paid sixty dollars and twenty-five cents for all four of these. Um, for this one, I paid where's it at? This one I paid uh, seventeen dollars and thirty-five cents for these uh, onza. And last but not least, I know. Um, I got this one and then one of these uh, 1968 Olympic coins. Uh, I believe it's variety two, or you know what? It was variety three. And uh, in this one, both 72%, I paid uh, $20 and 50 cent, 15 cents. So, <clears throat> also taking consideration, uh, this is in uh, LA County, uh, California, so there is some um, taxes. So, that is the only downfall of that, unless uh, I believe if you spend over $1,000 or $2,000. But, anyways, give them a call. Um, stop by their shop, beautiful shop. I mean, it's not large, but it's really nice, high-end shop. So give them a call, we'll share coin exchange. Um, there's their number, their address. If you have any other questions about this shop or anything, um, you know, send me a private message or uh, post a question in the comment section. So I'm gonna go ahead and make, finish up this video. It's kind of getting long now. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you guys uh, like these uh, new additions to get the month of February started. All right guys, thanks for watching.